Brandon, sorry to hear about your arm. Uh, just your reaction when you heard the results of the MRI and what they told you. Uh, I mean, obviously disappointed. Um, you know, all the all the manual tests had come back that the ligament wasn't fired up at all. That we were we were clear, and we even kind of got a false positive. When I first saw the doctor, he he came in and tested it. And he's like, I, you know, the ligament feels fine. Went and looked at the film and saw that wasn't the case, and, and had to kind of come back and deliver the bad news. So it was it was a shock, but it. Um, you know, unfortunately, I've done enough of this in my career. This will be the longest one, but I've had way worse news delivered to me with the brain thing, and I've kind of learned how to absorb bad news and, and realize, you know, it's just another thing that you... It's a new thing to get to work on. Put your head down and just go. There's no need to mope about it and just get to work. Is Tommy John in your future? Have they discussed surgery possibilities with you, or is rehab a better bet? What's your thought? Uh, you know, for the next next couple hours, I'll keep talking it through, and I'll talk to, to Doc when he gets here tonight. I mean, I think it... It certainly looks one direction, and I don't want to be one of those guys that plays a string out for a few months only to kind of waste everybody's time, um, myself included. It's, this is going to be one where uh, if we need to get it done, we'll get it done soon and, and, and start to make uh, next year the focus. Because it wasn't expected, and you thought hopefully it could be something like a tendonitis or what have you. Worse to hear knowing that it didn't feel as bad and you weren't expecting this grave result. No, I mean, even if I had left the game thinking 100% I was blown out, you were going to get that emotion one way or another. So I didn't get too high with, with the thinking I was going to be fine. It was just, you know, I, you know, like I said, I've done this enough. And it, it, wait till you hear the actual news and wait till someone comes up with a plan. And then that's when you deal with the emotions of it. I try not to get too high or too low otherwise. When you talked about, after, when you talked about the other night after the game that you felt this last year, did they tell you that maybe this was a general progression to this point in time? Uh, no, there wasn't anything like that. And we even looked at an MRI that I took when I had my physical here and nothing nothing showed up. I think last year I might have just actually been dealing with tendonitis and some soreness that was probably in a similar area, um, a little bit different, but it wasn't this. This has been a little bit more um, more advanced, more it's more extreme. Last year was just general pitching soreness, whereas now it's you know, it's a full injury. Did they tell you when you spoke to them that if you do the surgery, what would be the timetable for coming back? Could it be next year? Or um, I mean, it would be the typical timetable, um, you know, probably 14, 15 months. Um, you'd you'd kind of shoot for hopefully the all-star break next year, probably somewhere in there. Um, and then, you know, if you can push that a little bit or be aggressive, then, then by all means. But, um, you know, I think they've, they've become a little bit more cautious in that now the teams have seen guys going through a second time and trying to avoid that. You take the safer route. So you know you're missing a good amount of time. You're missing this year and then a chunk of next year. But... You know, in, in the back of my mind, if I can be back, you know, a little bit before the All-Star break next year, be strong and healthy and be fine to go there to play out the rest of my career, then um, then I'll be happy with that. You have to go deal with your own emotions of this, obviously, but just from a team perspective, um, you know, just the thought of how this is going to affect the club and, and what that makes you feel. Uh, I, I hope I'm, I'm easily replaceable. Um, you know, I, I hope someone comes up and does a great job in my absence and makes a, a name for themselves. Um, it sucks to know that that comes at your expense, but but that's the whole point of having a good team and a good organization. Um, you know, I'd be thrilled at the end of the year to be celebrating with these guys winning a World Series and knowing I hadn't done much to it, but that if there was a group that got there. And uh, it, it's that, that crappy feeling of leaving everybody behind where you've come out as a group and now you kind of go down your own solo path um, is a little unsettling. but. Uh, everybody's been supportive. I know that I'll have guys here I can still talk to and um, and friends here that I can still talk with. And it's something that I'll, I'll just have to enjoy watching the game from a different side now.